over the river, through the woods. My grandmother. Well, hello, youngster. I hope you had a good Christmas. Say, I know you. You're John Provost to Max Lassie. Huh? Yeah. What do you know about that? Well, I'll declare. Hello, John. I'm Ernie Ford. I know. I see your name all the time. Oh? On television? No, on the mailbox. The <laughs> mailbox? Oh, well, I guess you would be in bed when I'm on. But anyhow, Merry Christmas, John, and Merry Christmas to you, Lassie. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, what kind of an attitude is that for a young'un to have at Christmas time? What's so hot about Christmas? It's just another day. Just another day? What are you talking about? Oh, it's nothing important, Mr. Ford. Well, now, it certainly is, too. Now, you tell me all about it. No, I guess I'd better get drifting. Well, now, wait just a minute, John, before you get drifting. Now, wait a minute. John, uh, are you thinking about running away from home? What's the use of sticking around if your folks don't love you anymore? Well, now, I don't believe that. Now, I, you know your folks love you. Then why didn't I get what I asked for for Christmas? Oh, that's it. Now, what'd you ask for? A 12-gauge shotgun and a baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get neither one. <laughs> well, John, you see, uh, well, these things take a little while, you know, and... Uh, well, you know, we can't have everything that we want just right smack dab when we want it, you know. Uh, uh, these things, uh, there's, there's planning, and uh, these things sort of have to take, uh, well, uh, these... Did your folks ever explain this to you? They said I was too young. Well, your folks know best. <laughs> okay, I'm too young for a shotgun. Who was holding up my baby sister? <laughs> John, old buddy, I think maybe you've got sort of the wrong twist on Christmas. Uh, it isn't all getting and, and giving presents, you know. All I know is, if my folks loved me, I would have gotten what I asked for. I guess I'd better get going. Come on, Lassie. Well, well, now, well, now wait a minute, John. No, 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 no not, not yet. Uh, now, come back here a minute. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Mexico, maybe. Mexico. Do you know anybody down there? There's Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez. Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez, are they friends of yours? No, the two chihuahuas. They're friends of laughing. Oh, I see. <laughs> John, John, Mexico's a long ways off. We could make it, I guess. Well, what about some more warm clothes and, and to take an item? Don't you think you ought to take something to eat? I just got the bare necessities. The bare necessities. By the way, speaking of that, what do you got in your poke, anyhow? A pet frog, a peanut butter sandwich, and a paper clip. A paper clip? What's the paper clip for? To clip the frog's lips together. So he won't eat the sandwich. So he won't eat the sandwich. <laughs> John, I don't want to. I don't want to put a crimp in your plans or anything like that. But uh, before you go, how about going into the house and having some uh, some hot chocolate and some cookies? Well, I don't know. Well, you know, there's nothing like hot chocolate before taking a big trip. And we've got some nice bones for last. Well. <laughs> Did that make up your mind? Okay, Lassie. I guess there's nothing like keeping up our strength. Keeping up your strength, that's right. Now, you go on in the house, and I'll get my wood, and I'll come in there in a minute. Okay, come Okay, on, that's fine. Go on in, kids. Go and have a good come time. On. Which way are you going, dog? <laughs> I'll be in a minute. Out of the mouths of babes. Well, I'll get my wood. Over the river and through.